So this is actually a first for me. Um, I've seen blind dogs before, but um, haven't seen uh, blind puppies with this specific congenital disease. Upon initial exam, it was in good health, but uh, it was fairly disoriented and anxious and really uh, couldn't really see where it was going. Uh, so we examined its eyes and there were abnormalities found in the retina. This puppy has a disease known as Kali eye anomaly, which uh, results from uh, a lack of development in the back of the eye. It is a congenital disorder, so that means that he was born with it. and It's not something that he acquired with this specific disease. It is uh, genetically inherited, so it requires both mom and dad to be carriers of the gene in order for, for them to produce an affected puppy. I do recommend um, that he starts out in a, in a household that's quiet um, and offers a good normal routine um, and is you know, free of any extraneous hazards. So uh, it'll take some time when he's adopted uh, to really get a sense of where he's living, get a sense of the household. So recommend maybe starting him out in a, in a, uh, in a bedroom that he can really get a sense of and then uh, slowly progress him up from there, you know, so he gets a, a sense of the house. Barricading off stairs is recommended first, um, you know, uh, until they get a sense of the household and then eventually he can graduate from there and he should be able to go up and down stairs fine. Um, and because he is a collie, they do require a lot of exercise, um, so guided, guided walk, leash walks are recommended as well. Mm -hmm. 